Uh, now I'm going to recognize Senator Mullen, the subcommittee ranking member, for his statement. Senator Mullen, you may begin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to start off by thanking everyone, including our five panelists, um, and Senator Brown, uh, Senator Vance, and Senator Casey, uh, for attending this hearing. The people of East Palestine have shown per perseverance and bravery during the time that are, that's understandably they're very anxious and upset about. In the aftermath of the derailment, the decision was made to burn hazardous chemicals uh, leaking from rail cars out of fear of explosion. Since then, residents have reported headaches, coughing, fatigue, irritation, pain, burning sensations on their skin. People of East Palestine now fear their health, despite the EPA claiming that everything's okay. The public's trust in the government is near record load. Only 20% say that they trust the government to do the right thing. After the last three years, there's no wonder that, that, that the residents are calling into question about the response and the advice the government bureaucrats is giving. The mixed messaging from the administration in the days and weeks after the tragedy has only added the fuel to the fire. Actions have consequences. Both the Secretary, and Transporta uh, Secretary of Transportation and the Administrator of the EPA delayed their visit to East Palestine says, and says that when they got there, hey, it wasn't our problem. It was the previous administration and their deregulation that caused this. It's time for everyone to take responsibility. In contrast, I applaud the timely on-ground response efforts from the local uh, residents and the first responders. The people of Ohio have truly come together to help neighbors in the time of need. In Oklahoma, we call that the Oklahoma standard. Moving forward, today's hearing allows us and, and allows witnesses to provide much needed clarity and assurance to the public. We need to know how to prevent tragedies like this from happening again. We need to know what caused it. There are serious questions that need to be addressed, such as the states that toxic waste is being shipped to, how long the chemicals were setting in the cars, if the bearings were appropriately reinspected, why were all five cars burned instead of just the one, why the administration and Norfolk failed to provide accurate and timely information to local authorities, and finally, what are we going to do about the town moving forward? The residents understandably do not feel safe and we need a plan to put their lives back together. I expect our witnesses, witnesses to transparently discuss these issues so we can prevent accidents like this from occurring in the future. Leaders take responsibilities. They don't point fingers and dodge responsibilities. The people of East Palestine need to see the administration and Norfolk take responsibility and show results. I yield back.